Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene, the not-so-local music scene, and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm back at Backstage Bar and Billiards on Fremont Street in downtown Las Vegas for another show review. I've reviewed this venue before in a separate video, so feel free to check it out when you're done here. Incidentally, if you'd like me to review a venue, your music, some whiskey, or anything else, let me know in the comments or by using my email address or the Room 6 social media link down in the description. That's also how you can support the channel by picking up some sweet merch, a CD or two, or maybe by becoming a patron on my Patreon page. While you're down there, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. Uh, it all helps, and I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. While previous reviews of this venue have been about rock, metal, punk, acoustic, and more, this time we're really getting into our feels, because tonight's show was all about emo. Are you ready? Located across from the El Cortez Casino Hotel on the corner of 6th Street and Fremont Street in downtown Las Vegas, just down the street from the Fremont Street Experience, Backstage Bar and Billiards, or Triple B to the locals, is perfectly positioned for late night entertainment. I actually joined two of the acts that would be playing at Triple B's at El Cortez to watch Hal Savar, who plays all over town and also hosts the Songwriter Showcase at Soul Belly Barbecue you may have heard me talk about once or twice on this channel which I live stream every Sunday from 6 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future videos and live streams. Three of the acts on the bill were actually Room 6 alumni, so it was definitely shaping up to be a fun night. Opening up the night was perennial Soul Belly Barbecue songwriter showcase guest Quinn Turner, who also fronts the Soulful Sons. Quinn was a last minute addition to the night, but he fit in perfectly. Joined on stage by Exist More on hand drum, Quinn broke the ice on the evening and warmed up the small but growing crowd expertly with sexy songs. It was a nice way to open things up. Next batter up was staunch supporter of the channel, Scotty Dub. Joined by part of his band on stage, Scotty proceeded to take the torch Quinn lit and toss it in some gasoline. His music is equal parts chill vibe and relatable topics mixed up into earworm filled tunes you'll be singing all night. Grabbing the gasoline soaked torch from Scotty and lighting the stage on fire was AJ Facillo, frontman for Wyatt in the Ashes. Many of us in attendance have seen AJ play around town for a while, but this was easily his best solo outing in a long time. Working the entire stage and whipping the audience into a frenzy, he combined emo energy with singer songwriter sensibilities, and it works. I'm so glad I was there to capture this amazing set, and you should definitely catch him live and all the acts live if you get the chance. Up next was Cash Colligan, jumping on stage for a quick dip in the musical pool. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Unfortunately, I was in the green room with some camera guys talking about lenses and stuff and missed capturing any of his quick set. Sorry, Cash. Don't make me destroy you. It sounded amazing, though. <laughs> Once I was done berating myself for this egregious error, look it up, I made sure to catch the headliners of the night, Twin Rova, who, at time of releasing this video, will be on Room 6 for an interview tonight. Tonight's the night. It's gonna be alright. This trio carried the acoustic-based theme of the night through and put on a clinic in how to get an emo crowd excited about being sad. Bouncing between their own original music, which was definitely influenced by the genre, and popular emo covers by bands like My Chemical Romance and others, they kept everyone entertained and interested in what they had to share. I'm looking forward to the interview and performance on Room 6. Keep an eye out for it posting in the near future. Overall, Emo Night at Backstage Bar and Billiards was a great way to spend an evening with awesome people and amazing music. If you haven't been to this venue for a show, you owe it to yourself to check it out if you get the chance. As for the acts mentioned in this video, their social media is down in the description, and uh, tell them Room 6 sent you when you drop by their pages or see them live, which you should. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you'll swing by Triple B or Backstage Bar and Billiards if you get the chance, and I hope that you will go like and follow all the acts I mentioned down in the description. Um, other than that, 
you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please, please subscribe. Click down there. It takes a second. Ring the bell. Don't ring the bell. Whatever. But it all matters. In the meantime, remember to be amazing. And we'll see you next time on Room 6.